Hi, Peter speaking here. Um, welcome to part 13. I hope it would be a very short chapter where I wanted to get you familiarized with build configs and switching between uh, so-called OPC way backends, uh, which are like libraries which provide OPC way connectivity on, on top of which Quasar builds uh, address spaces and uh, models data and performs information exchange. Um, so let's start. Um, so kind of natively, uh, Quasar bases on the API, which was uh, originally invented by, by the Unified Automation company in the product called Unified Automation C++ Software Development Kit and also Stack. And therefore, natively, the, the UA SDK, which is a paid product, which your company uh, is likely to, to have or is, um, is, is supported. Um, but so far in this tutorial, we've been working with Open 62541, which is an open source uh, OPC UA implementation. So you can go to open62541.org for more information. And it's natively supported in Quasar uh, due to a, a Quasar module called Open 62541-Compat, um, which I which is a project I, I, I started one day and then he got some contributions. And um, so we have, at, at the moment of, 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 of me talking about this, we have uh, two uh, completely independent OPC UA implementations and um, UA SDK, the, the paid product which, for which you need the license, has more features than Open6, uh, which is my uh, abbreviation for Open6251. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be using the term Open6. For instance, it supports asynchronous variable reads and asynchronous method calls. I, I think it's the primary difference at this point of development. Uh, and uh, for instance, Open6 as an open source thing is much easier to maintain when it comes to uh, source, code, source code management. And uh, for instance, when I work with embedded systems with Yocto or Peta Linux, Open6 is really much simpler because you can um, you know, you can it can be pulled without any 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 restriction from 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 GitHub or any other place um, to build your um, to build your operating uh, system image and, and executables, which of course is not the case for UASDK, which is again is a protected product uh, covered by by license. Um, so, but because in the next parts I'd like to cover things like those asynchronous calls, I need to show you how to switch between both. And the good message is that there is an evaluation version of UASDK, uh, so you can pull it from the net. It's time limited. It runs for I think 30 minutes or maybe one hour. I forgot. We'll see in a second. Uh, but um, um, you, you can you can try everything I'm gonna do with the evaluation version. So um, then I'd like to tell you how do we actually switch between backends and this brings me to so-called build configs and build config is a term in Quasar which is well basically it's a simply a, a text file uh, in CMake uh, scripting standard and CMake based uh, Quasar build system can include this file and in this file you find well build flag settings but also paths to the toolkit so if you have a like an external toolkit like your SDK, this is where you you configure the path, path and the dependencies like boost and things and this and that. Um, so let's get to the point. So first of all, um, I'd like to show you where you actually obtain the UA SDK. So if you go to Unified, so maybe before I show you the web page, actually you should ask if you have a license in your company. Um, I'd send a few people who, who possess the proper license, so you can uh, ask the, those people to compile your, pro your, your development. Um, in your company, there might be like a side license. This I don't know, but in case you're not um, aware of the license, you can, of course, try it with the evaluation version. So you uh, find this on the Unified Automation page, so unified-automation.com. By the way, I'm not really related to this company. I'm, I'm just telling you that they have it, but I'm, I'm not really paid for. For, for telling you that. And <clears throat> the product you should be interested in is uh, C++ SDK. S SDK, of course, a software development kit. And then uh, you go to, um, you go to OPC UA client server SDK. This is version 1.7, which is, should be uh, just fine. Uh, because in Quasar we support from from one five one six one seven, so then you can download this thing, 
which gives you some sort of tarball, at least for Linux. And um, what I don't like here is they compile it solely for Debian, which also works on Ubuntu, but uh, my familiar systems ba based on Red Hat are not easily supported, so you can ask the company, maybe they have it compiled for you. Anyway, uh, so uh, the next part of the demonstration, I keep on another computer, which is actually Ubuntu. And uh, so here's... Um, so here's my project on another machine, the same project we've been building uh, recently over a few recent uh, parts of this of this training. So um, how do you switch then? Uh, maybe you remember that in the first part of the tutorial, we uh, we used that file called open6 uh, blah blah config.cmake. You remember? And, and then we used something like set build config uh, to this open6 file. And that was how we chosen the Open6 to be to be uh, used as the OPC UA provider. Um, so I now want to use the UA SDK. So I downloaded this uh, tarball which I told you about um, in on the web page. So this is the download, and then I unpacked it to SDK. And then in the SDK, what I find is. Um, is that you find include and libs and so pretty standard layout for uh, C or C++ libraries. So that's quite obvious. So um, to start profiting from this, I need to do two things. First of all, I need the build config file. So, um, well, no longer open six conf config because this is for open six, obviously. So I need another one. And this file actually made from something which is in framework eternals def default configuration but but then i kind of cleaned up and completed and here is how it looks like uh, so basically in this file uh, the parts which are relevant is this part in the opcua section which i as, as i said i cleaned up uh, significantly so i need to basically set two var um, well a few variables let's say this way so the toolkit path is where I downloaded the SDK. Okay, so it should end with the SDK cost that is the root of what is packed by the company. And then uh, which are the names of the libs for debug and release. And frankly, I've put the proper libs names only in the release version. Um, there is a small difference between toolkits like 1.6 and 1.7. In 1.7, they add this like uh, ending with CPP. But this you can find out looking at the SDK slash lib. So you will see that some libs actually require the CPP. Then this add custom target and then include directories. And uh, well, this is what works for Toolkit 1.7, but you know, with some common sense, you will make it work uh, easily. So this is the context of this, of this file. By the way, if you on uh, Ubuntu, uh, the, the difference vers versus MT is also that in the boost section, uh, you have to remove dash MT, which is how Red Hat prefers to pack the multi-thread version of boost. Uh, this is all actually documented on Quasar, but I'm just saying. So when I have this file, I need to do two things. And um, first of all is I need to set build config to this file. That is the first step. And the second thing is in the part one, we actually enabled open 62541 compat as a module. And now I have to disable this. And actually I realized that I was just before I started uh, recording, I actually did this exercise already. So I did that. Uh, but uh, here's the command. Uh, oh no, I can't really get back to this. But the command to do that was I did disable module open 6 to blah 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 compat. Okay, now it tells it's not installed, but it was installed <laughs> uh, still like 20 minutes ago. Uh, but this is the command you have to do, so you actually uh, you don't want to use it, right? Because we use the UA SDK. So when this is done, uh, the procedure is rather ordinary. You just do Quasar build. And, uh, okay, as I said, I practiced this so, uh, you know, it, it was already done, normally it takes the ordinary time. And then I can run my OPC UA server. And uh, I think that somewhere here, so, so, this is, so this is a Quasar server running on UA SDK at this moment, okay? So there is absolutely no difference, uh, no visual difference, or maybe this message is just slightly different, but, you know, it's it's a really tiny tiny difference that it will be difficult for you to 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 catch. Everything else looks like with a normal um, with the normal Open six two five four one backend, 
Um, and it behaves fine. There's just one information that the UA, uh, OPC UA SDK is running in demo mode, of course, because we, we, we're using the evaluation version. And uh, the network uh, will be stopped in 60, 60 minutes. So you have one hour to evaluate your uh, product and maybe buy the license um, or ask someone to compile uh, your thing against the license that they have. Um, but apart from this, you know, it works uh, like normal. So Quasar can work with those two uh, backends and um, it's entirely fine. And now let's switch back to uh, to Open6 uh, again, in case you, you need to uh, continue developing without the license. So what you do is Quasar set build config Open6 blah, blah. And, uh, and I think we need to do um enable module compat and i swear to god i forgot which version is this but i will try to find this from from here so i tell you the version that sorry not start of course cut okay one to zero so we do version one to zero and then maybe even without deleting the build directory this actually i'm not sure let's see what happens Voila, and now we switch to uh, to Open Six to Five for One, so you can switch both directions, and well, uh, that was the purpose of my uh, little uh, part to actually teach you how to how you can switch between Open Six to Five for One and uh, UA SDK. And in the next parts, I'll be using in few places UA SDK because I need to show you a few features of Quasar which are for the moment not available on Open Six to Five for One. Uh, yeah. Okay, the old story with um, blah, blah. Yeah, actually I should have chosen, uh, I made this variant Ubuntu, as I said in Ubuntu, it's simply without MT, voila. So now it compiled. Okay, thanks for your attention. Uh, hope this was useful. Uh, see you next part.